Hey everybody, I'm down at the toy store. The store is closed today. That's kind of a good thing. It's empty, it's quiet. There are a lot of things to do. Lots of new developments, some updates. I just wanna say thanks to everybody. After yesterday's video, I got a lot of good comments, a lot of good feedback, some good advice. And I just wanna let everyone know that this will not be a decision that I take lightly. It is a life-changing decision, jumping ship from the railroad. I've been there for 11 years, so I just want everyone to know it will be something that's very thought out. This has been discussed in the background for about a month, so it won't be something that happens just out of the blue. Sometimes you gotta step back, right? Because this isn't just my toy store. This is everybody's toy store that's been following along in these videos. It's ours, okay? It's not just mine. The reason I'm saying that, I have filmed every step of the way. From day one, when it was completely empty in here, I've been videoing it, I've been doing the editing, and I know, you know, I'm not like a supreme Hollywood editor or anything. I'm doing my best, okay? No Steven Spielbergs over here. But at one time, there was nothing in here. And sometimes I just have to step back kind of close my eyes, breathe in a little bit, and realize this place has come a long way in just four short months. I put a lot of pressure on myself to make this work, and I think we are doing a heck of a job. I don't want to keep rehashing it. You know, I know we want some new content here, but just, just stay with me, okay? Stay with me, and it's going to be a heck of a ride. Let's get on to some store updates. You know, it's been a couple days since we actually got some stuff accomplished. We finally figured out a solution for the as is stuff and we figured out a way to utilize some more space. Where these boxes are, we are going to put dump bins and we're gonna line them down the wall. I'm just gonna say in advance, the sun is messing with my auto focus, my auto contrast deal. But the dump bins, we are gonna put some right there. And we are also going to get rid of these, okay? Where we've got this stuff kind of stacked, these did serve a purpose at one time. If we go back and watch some of my older videos, we didn't have enough toys to fill all this space up. These were kind of like some makeshift shelves. We just threw what we could on there and we went with it, right? The store is evolving. We are getting busier, we're getting more toys. We need a professional setup, so to speak. I mean, I don't know how professional it all is, but we need some better shelving and we kind of think we got the answer. We're gonna primarily focus those bins on as is product and clearance product. So there will be kind of a clearance section that spans, let me step back a little bit. It'll span two or three of the 26 inch dump bins. So that's only gonna put us out to like, it's gonna be hard to see, but it's only gonna put us out to about right here. And we wanted to make sure when we took the measurements, here is a two foot box, okay? This right here. So we're still gonna have about four and a half, five feet. There's still gonna be plenty of space down there for traffic. That could be wheelchairs, baby carriages, people walking past each other. Because it does get pretty busy in here, it can feel kind of crowded. So we wanted to make sure we had enough space before we did this. Don't ask me why that just hit us. Like I said, first toy store. And I said to my brother, I said, hey, why don't we get rid of this? You know, I had someone comment, we could put a couple dump bins right there and we could do clearance stuff. And he was like, well, let's just move this shelf out of here. You know, it's on wheels, casters, as we call them in the retail space. Anyway, <laughs> this thing is on wheels. We could move it out and put a couple three foot dump bins. And then he said, you know what? Why can't we just put dump bins along the wall? It was like a light went off. So we think we kind of have an idea for the as is clearance section. And that's a good feeling. I was kind of stressing that, believe it or not. It's weird what kind of stresses you. I'm not saying stressing, but I've been thinking about it. It's been on my mind. I'm really trying to squeeze the money leaks, make sure we're getting maximum profit. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. And I can't wait to get those wagon wheel spool thingies out of there and see what it looks like with some dump bins. And the good thing about the dump bins, I'm gonna order them from the same place. I ordered these dump bins. So they should be here tomorrow. We'll be able to see what that looks like in tomorrow's video. But for today, I kind of wanted to clear up yesterday's video, let everybody know, hey, not going to do anything rash. It's a big decision that will change my life and change the course of like the toy store, everything else, because 
we aren't just building one toy store. We're working on a brand. It's, it's more of a brand than a toy store. It's a bigger idea than just one brick and mortar. And yes, it's a little bit of big dreaming, okay? But it's a possibility, a real possibility, that sooner than later, there will be a second location. Before we talk second location though, we really need to hone in on the shipping part of it. And I just wanna to touch on that while I'm here. We are shipping through eBay right now. We're in the process of kind of listing what we have bulk of, or maybe like a higher, higher dollar one-offs. Like I'll give everybody an example. What I'm calling a higher dollar one-off would be, let's see if we can find it. Would be like this Transformer Masterpiece Movie Series Bone Crusher. This probably goes for about 160 in the stores. I think we have it listed for maybe 120, something like that. But that's what I'm calling like a higher dollar one-off. You might be better off listing that on eBay. And I'm saying one-off, but we have more than one of those. Those are the type of toys you could list because they might sit in this toy store a while. It takes a special type of buyer to pick one of those up. And even though Washington has about 15,000 people in it, and we draw from Peoria and areas around us, it might take that person six months to come in here and buy that. And if we can sell it before then, then that's that's good on us because we're all about turning over inventory. Okay, while we're standing here, I keep getting distracted, but I still haven't sold any of these, which means I probably need to lower the price on them or possibly list them on eBay. Speaking of updates, we are currently bidding on four or five toy loads and you're probably going to see a new haul come in at the end of this week or the beginning of next week we've freed up enough shelf space in here between the busy weekend and it's been about what three weeks since we got that last load in so since then we've organized we freed up space and i think we are ready for another toy buy three weeks seems like a long time but the good thing about that, we have cycled through a lot of the older inventory that they were selling, and now it's gonna be newer stuff. I haven't seen any, I mean, I've seen some, but for the most part, it's new toys, not a lot of the same stuff we have, and that is really good for us. While I've got everybody here, I wanted to ask about the Easter Bunny. Easter is coming, it's a couple weeks out. We have an opportunity to book an Easter Bunny, and I don't really know if that's worth it, if that's something we should do. My mom says it's kind of creepy. She said she said every picture she has of my brother and I with the Easter Bunny, we're freaked out. The Easter Bunny looks creepy. And I don't know if it's something like Santa Claus. Santa Claus, you kind of got to have him at the store at least once for people to get pictures. But I'm not so sure the Easter Bunny is going to be like worth the payoff. However, I had someone come in that does a superhero thing. They've got like Batman, Iron Man, Batgirl, just a whole bunch of superheroes. And they do a lot of hospitals is what he told me. He does Batman. He says he does a lot of hospital gigs. But he said that he would get the whole troop together and come out for like a superhero day. And I thought that would be awesome. Have a big superhero day, maybe have a sale on action figures or whatever it is. Do something. And I think that would draw a pretty good crowd. Come out and get your picture taken with superheroes. I'm gonna wrap it up. And I know the last couple videos have been sappy or whatever you wanna say, but the YouTube channel really matters to me. Like I kind of touched on before, I had some struggles before the toy store and being able to work on the videos and having people to you know talk with basically, almost like my camera's a person at this point, but it keeps me going, it keeps me motivated. And it's a huge part of the toy store. The YouTube videos are gonna continue. I um, didn't mean it to sound like the YouTube was gonna stop yesterday. And the toy store is gonna continue because we believe in this. And if I have to, I can live on ramen noodle, all right? The toy store does well enough that as long as we can keep getting our toys, keep getting the supply, it could go forever. Unless, you know, apocalypse or something. We've really rambled the last couple videos without getting anything done. So I'm gonna get out of here, call it a video. Until next time, I will see you later. Peace.